Welcome. This video will show how you can utilize opportunistic cross-docking in S4 HANA extended warehouse management to expedite deliveries, and at the same time, reduce the number of warehouse movements. The views, information or opinions expressed are solely those of the individuals involved and not those of the individual's employer, or any other group or individual. Let us look at some of the benefits provided by EWM-driven opportunistic cross-docking. Opportunistic cross-docking lets you expedite deliveries by picking directly from incoming goods. It eliminates unnecessary warehouse movements for higher efficiency. And it helps you identify opportunities for cross-docking that has not been pre-planned. Let us spend a few seconds to clarify some terminology. Cross-docking is a practice in logistics of unloading materials from an incoming truck or railroad car and loading these materials directly into outbound trucks, trailers, or rail cars, with little or no storage in between. There are basically two types of cross-docking. Both are supported in EWM. We have planned cross-docking, here the decision for cross-docking is made before the goods arrive in the warehouse and are received. Secondly, we have opportunistic cross-docking. The decision for or against cross-docking is made when the goods are already in the warehouse, and the goods receipt process has already started. A potential use case for EWM-driven opportunistic cross-docking could be goods types that have a certain volume and pick frequency. You could for instance store the majority of goods in a classical storage type, and leave some of it in the cross-docking area. Whenever there is a request for the goods and the quantity can be supplied from the cross-docking area, EWM would pick from there first. This will only happen if the quantity can be met, and if the pick will not violate other rules, such as FEFO, first expiry, first out. We will now run an example of EWM-driven opportunistic cross-docking. If an EWM storage or picking warehouse task is created, EWM determines whether an opportunistic cross-docking should take place. EWM checks whether the inbound or outbound delivery order item is relevant for cross-docking. We will kick it off by creating a purchase order. We create a standard purchase order for 10 units of the product EWM A80. It has been set up as relevant for cross-docking. We make a note of the purchase order number. Next, we will create the corresponding inbound delivery. We use the purchase order number we just noted down. We use it to create the inbound delivery. We add an advanced shipping notification reference for completeness before we continue and do a direct goods receipt. Let us take a quick look into available stock in EWM. We can see that our 10 new units were put into a storage bin for cross-docking. We can also see that the same product is stored in additional other storage bins. Let us see what happens when we create a sales order for the same product and with the same number of units. We made a quick note of the sales order number and we'll use it as we are now progressing in creating the corresponding outbound delivery document. The outbound delivery request is now available in EWM. We will use the outbound delivery number and create the necessary warehouse tasks. We can dive into the warehouse task for more detail. We can see which warehouse order it belongs to. We can see that the pick will take place from the cross-docking bin on the detail screen for the task. An expected outcome since cross-docking has been set up, and relevant stock positions are available. We are now ready to perform the warehouse picking. We will do so by using a handheld RF device. After creating a relevant pick HU, the system will guide us to the cross-dock storage bin, we will confirm the pick, using the handheld device. Eventually, we will move the goods to the goods issue zone. If we do a quick check for available stock in the system, we will see that the pick HU we just completed is in the goods issue zone. No additional quantity of the product is available in the cross-docking area.
It could be tempting to see what happens if we create an additional sales order, now that no quantity is available in the cross-docking area. We will make a quick repetition of the outbound flow. We will create a similar sales order, complete the subsequent outbound delivery. Then create the warehouse tasks based on the outbound delivery request in EWM. By drilling down into the new warehouse task, we can see that the system has chosen to pick from an ordinary pick bin since no relevant stock is available in the cross-docking area. The functionality shown in this video is available in S4 HANA Extended Warehouse Management, embedded and decentralized. It is also available in classic SAP Extended Warehouse Management 9.x. Let us recap some of the benefits provided by EWM-driven opportunistic cross-docking. Opportunistic cross-docking lets you expedite deliveries by picking directly from incoming goods. It eliminates unnecessary warehouse movements for higher efficiency. And it helps you identify opportunities for cross-docking that has not been pre-planned. Thanks a lot for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe. More videos like this coming shortly. See you then.